with the service, took my little strobe light out, stuck it on my helmet, and watched the end of the ship go that way. How many miles? Um, it takes two and a half miles to turn a supercarrier around. Two and a half miles. <laughs> two and a half miles doesn't sound like very far. That's kind of like from here to Webster Street. It's a long ways when you're in the water. <laughs> so I'm watching the big black letters on the fantail Enterprise thinking, you're turning around, right? <laughs> I know they saw me. I mean, you have, you have what's called plat cameras that are all over the flight deck where they videotape everything that goes on so you can't hide anything. And also for landing and recovery to watch, and the pilots can watch later for training, so on and so forth. So, and I did see the video about a year later of <laughs> me going off the panel. It was kind of cool to watch. It wasn't cool to relive it, but it was fun. Um, I hit the water. I knew they saw me. And you can't hear anything, obviously. I did see the plane guard aircraft just like that, just like that H3 right there. I saw him off in the distance. They did not turn the ship, which I was really expecting them to do. Turn, come on. <laughs> You're one of 5,000. We ain't turning around for you. They brought an H3 out from one of the destroyers, one of the small boys that was with us. They picked me up out of the water, had me on the head. You know, you okay. Took me to their ship. Had to go to their medical. Talk to the chaplain. Talk to their XO. You know, you okay. You know, basically the whole thing. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm, I'm good. Can I go back with you guys? <laughs> Um, did he ask you why you walked across the flight deck? No, they didn't. <laughs> when I got back to my ship, however, my division officer, my division chief, my executive officer, and the executive officer of the ship, and the chaplain. The chaplain just pop up out of there. You know, and they're like right there. Chaplain I got to talk to first. So how you doing, son? I'm, I'm good, partner. I'm, I'm okay. I'm all wet, but I'm good. The next person I talked to was my XO. How you doing, Todd? I'm doing okay. I'm all right. And that was the XO of the ship. So why were you back there, son? Doing my job, sir. Okay. He'd already talked to the air boss. They knew we'd gotten clear. The guys got asked. So I was squeaky the rest of the crew because my boots didn't want to dry out for some reason for about a week after that. So every time I'd be walking down the passageway, my boots squeaked. Cost me a box of Hershey bars. Carpenter Marlboro to get a brand new pair of boots why so I didn't have the squeaky boots on. Yeah. 